you don't want to ever hit a bolt that you plan to put back in without protecting it. Hey, welcome back to GT Canada. Today we are working on my Easy Go golf cart. The steering rack is broken. It's got one of the teeth in it are broken. I can turn left and I can turn right, but when I go to straight, it loses everything unless I get out and push the wheel back into the contact area so it picks up and then turns again. Classic sign that the steering box is broken. I have purchased a used one on eBay. New ones are just so expensive. A used one was half the price. Hopefully it lasts longer than the one that's in here. There's no guarantees, so there is a risk when you take a used one over new. I will keep the old one so that it can be rebuilt if needed, so that I'm not gonna be living without a golf cart for very long if this one also breaks. But we're just gonna walk through everything that we need to do in order to swap this steering box. This is the steering box right here. It's attached with a couple bolts right there. There's also the steering arm right here and here that needs to come off. There's castle nuts on there with a cotter pin, so I'll have to pull the cotter pins out. We'll release these and be left with this. The new one is mostly complete. I also will need to undo the steering shaft right here, which will allow me to slide this off. And I'm going to have to also pull the steering wheel off so that when I put the steering tube back on, I can attach everything first, then put the tube on, then attach my steering wheel. So I'm going to disassemble everything right now. I've pulled these castle nuts off. They're very easy. All you do is pull the cotter pin out and then undo those. I used a 17 millimeter socket for it. Now these are just basically tight because they've been in place. Ooh, they're a little tighter than that. So you don't wanna ever hit a bolt that you plan to put back in without protecting it. So we spin that on. You just give her a good tappy tap like that. And then all you need to do is pop it. And now you see that comes out. And the wheel will turn because that's what wheels do. So we're gonna spin this one on. We're gonna do the same thing. Give it a tap until it comes out. Unspin the nut. You want to make sure that the nut has at least a few good threads on there. Otherwise, I have seen the nuts mushroom the heads of these. And that takes that off. So just like that, we've got this part free. Now we're going to move. Oh, I'm losing my dust cap. That's not cool. We're going to move inside now to the steering shaft. So on here, you'll notice it's a knuckle, a universal joint. So there's a top one and a bottom one. I need both. So I'm gonna do this one on the bottom and it goes right through. So once we loosen this, the bolt should thread out and the whole shaft should come off. Hopefully that comes right off. Just like that. Now it's important to always start with the hardest ones first, which is why I'm starting at the bottom because these are clearly going to be the hardest ones. So here we've got the old one here and we've got the new one here. One thing I noticed right off the bat, you see how this one's got a cap here with a nipple for greasing and this one does not. So whoever I bought this from had already pulled this off to try and look at it, gave up and then sold it to me. I bought it knowing that it had a steering issue. I paid uh, the price of a golf cart that has a steering issue, so I'm not mad. This was a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. I think I paid $200 for this, and a new one was gonna be about 500, and it was gonna take a couple weeks longer to ship. So, a couple things to know. This goes in this way, and the bolts here, this one and this one are just, they go into a blind hole. So they're they are pretty short, you can see. They'll just start in like that. This one is a through bolt, so you will need a wrench on the other side to get it off. But otherwise, it's just those three bolts and it's out. So I'm gonna get Parker to help me hold it while we put it back into position so I can get a couple bolts in there and then we'll move on. 
We've got the new one in. Now what we've got to do is attach our shaft. So we're just going to go like this, line up our holes there in the hole. And then we'll stick this guy on there. Hopefully your steering shaft does not have broken tabs like mine does. Mine only has one tab. So I'm going to put that one in for now. And I'm going to know that I can't lean on the steering wheel, but this will at least get it together. I will order a new shaft, but for now, this at least gets it working. We've got it all back in. Now I've just got to reattach these guys, which are very easy. You just go like that and like that. Spin your nuts back on like this. And like this. 17 millimeter socket. Go till they are tight. Like that. And then same with the other guy. Uh oh, is that spinning? I got a feeling it's spinning. Okay, it's spinning. So I'm going to try and hold this in place to lock it. Well, hopefully you saw that there. This one was spinning. I could feel it spinning in the socket. The same taper that held it in place that made us have to hit it with a hammer is also what holds it in place when you tighten it down. So I just grabbed it from the back, pulled it out into the socket while I spun this, and then it locked that thread right in place. So those are now tight. I'm gonna put the cotter pins back in so that those don't come off. This is a steering component and anything that's a critical component will always have some sort of a safety device. In this case, they come in the form of cotter pins. I'm gonna have to loosen that just a little bit in order to get that cotter pin on. Cause I can't go any tighter. I need to make sure that it's lined up with the hole. It's not a big deal. There, and then it just goes straight in. Bend that up and we'll do the same with the other one. Now, you're not supposed to reuse cotter pins because they get weak and don't last. That's what smart people do. People who are not smart would try to straighten this with some pliers and reuse it. So you got to decide if you're a smart person or not. Obviously, I've already made my choice. Just like that and like that. Cotter pins are in, it's not going anywhere. All our bolts, make sure they're tight. And our steering wheel is not straight. So what we're gonna do, yeah, it's straight enough. Okay, we put the nut on with our 24 millimeter socket to complete the install. This is a fun game. And that's all there is to replacing the steering box on your easy go golf cart. Now we just gotta let it off the jack stands and give it a quick test ride. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out our other videos and subscribe to the channel for more great videos just like this. Hope to see you again. Have a great day. <laughs>